what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and do the daily increase for my lovely sagittarians today sagittarian and and or ninth house placements Ooh. so guys happy birthday if today is your birthday today is this is a timeless message guys but i am recording this on december the 19th that is um, a very important spirit guide to me. Um, his birthday is today, or what it would have been today is today. Um, so yeah, so happy birthday to you. I do rely on his energy quite a bit in our readings. So let's see. All right, so this is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Ooh, Sun Moon Rising North Node Venus, as well as that ninth house placement. The overall energy of the day is divine guidance and messages okay can i get a okay that is seven and 33 as well there's definitely some divine guidance coming in through you today with feathers here i don't really feel like that that's signs and synchronicities that i'm getting here like these messages are, and there's an eyelash on there get out of here okay so with divine guidance and there being an eyelash on this card yes it is there is definitely saying like make a wish upon a star oh my goodness i want to show you the card it is 33 but i don't even want the eyelash to fall off can you see that star make a wish today Satch. make a wish wish for clear decisive messages um ask for you know Shaquille, speak to me today. I am open and receptive. You know, it could have something to do with bringing in your community. Hmm. Where is this headed for Sagittarius today? Where is this headed? Divine message, divine guidance and messages with community at the bottom of the deck. 33 is up here, 7 is up here, and then we have 37 down here. And wow, cowrie shells at the bottom of that um, with abundance, balance, and energy. So def something is definitely being energized and balanced out. But this is something that you are like, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to be open to this. You must, you have to uh, be able to flow with the energy. You can't act as a blockage, okay? And, 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 um, and, and sometimes this does require you to be patient. Sometimes this does require you to be patient. All right, Spirit, what's good? What's going on? Thank you. Wow, so we have the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. So what's going on is, and it's the same moon. You know, Sag, if I'm being honest to you, this whole deck right here, it speaks about, the, like, I've noticed that the theme is dream catchers, right? Um... This is really giving off that energy of a past dream. There's some divine hood mess. There's some divine messages coming in. I do feel like that these divine messages are coming in so that you can set yourself free from any guilt. And then you can really begin to embrace your abundance, embrace your luck, your Jupiterian energy. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see which moon cycle this is. Okay. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, this appears to be a waning crescent moon to me. That's what I see. But um, yes, a waning crescent moon is what I'm seeing here, and this is really giving off that energy of the need for quiet contemplation and planning your next steps. And I feel like that you're being told to plan your next steps from this Neptunian-like energy. The Seven of Cups is 
um, Scorpio and Venus energy. Okay, so that's something. So there's, so there's a lot of options. Okay, and whichever option that you choose is very significant. Like it will be very transformative. So I feel like that there is a need to really make the choice, a relaxation and content rest, contemplation, planning. <clears throat> We have temperance here. There's definitely patience. Patience and balance. Temperance is needed here. Not a lot. Yeah, patience. Seven of Pentacles. Not allowing your emotions to get the better of you. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, this it's like there's something for you to do while you're waiting on your harvest to come in there's something there's something that, there's some internal healing and i also have like you're supposed to be dreaming about something you're supposed to be dreaming about something right now sagittarius and i'm not sure that you are show me more on temperance yeah strength yeah let's see that's that building your internal strength The two of swords. It's like. <clears throat> I'm noticing this tear. Why did I get silent? Because I'm noticing this tear on her cheek. So I feel like that there was. A lot that you wasn't able to see and a lot that you wasn't able to see was causing you not to make decisions. It was holding you back from making vital decisions in your life. I feel like that right now what's going on while you're being told not to push something is because you're actually being protected and put into a space to heal and to become rest and get rest. So that you can embark on whatever this is that the universe has waiting for you. Because it is something that's going to require a lot of internal strength. It is something that's going to require a lot of internal strength. But it's also your justice. Look, this is justice. This is the strength card. It's like you've been in your quiet place. You've been there. You've been doing your healing work. You've been doing all that. Somebody... You didn't see what was really going on in the background. That's why the Two of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Is at the bottom of the deck. Because you didn't see. You couldn't see. It looked. It just looked like absolutely nothing. You couldn't see what was going on down there. But it's like once you get up, it's like you're able to get you. You put yourself in this position in white. You come out wearing red, which lets me know that you have gotten your root chakra stabilized, which means that when the root chakra is balanced, my people is safe, grounded, assertive, centered, and secure in themselves, no matter what's going on. And that's what you've been spending, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what this time for patience is, is so that you can transform so that when the time comes for you to get up and go, let's see what is on the other side of this justice. Because when the time gets up to go, ooh. Uh, justice in the will of fortune, destined fate. It's it's fate. It changes, and 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 it's really nothing that you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? To the Ace of Pentacles, oh, ice from a Knight of Wands. Okay, it's gonna be an adventure. Ooh, we have the Hierophant and the World card. To the hermit 
Isolation is definitely over for you, okay? Isolation comes to an end for you, but it only comes to an end once you truly make peace with the past, okay? Once you truly make peace with the past, and the only way that you can truly make peace with the past is when you're able to do the reflecting on it. And only then, once you allow yourself to do the introspection on the pain instead of being the victim of the pain, then and only then can you close that cycle out and can you put yourself into this energy where now you're in an authoritative position with the hierophant i learned my lessons and then i can share my knowledge and then what that inadvertently caused in for you is an adventure and what does this adventure lead you to and this is the adventure it leads you to a brand new opportunity and it's faded and it destined it's destiny but it starts with you stepping into your confidence here and all of that starts with you being able to look back at the past and do the healing Wow, looky here. Judgment in the Ten of Wands. Judgment in the Ten of Wands. The, um, the next, there, I, I'm asking what's next. There is this energy of being truthful about the amount of responsibilities that you carry. And if I'm just being honest with you, this is giving me the energy of you gonna have to be honest with somebody. You know, you might been you might have been sugarcoating something, Sag. You have to be truthful about the amount of burden and responsibility that a situation is to, on you. And then you're going to have to actively decide, Are you, do you want to reach for your dream or are you going to continue to carry this burden? Okay. Do you want to reach for your dream or are you going to continue to carry this burden? What's this Ten of Wands? The Eight of Pentacles. Doing all the work. This could be your work. There's definitely some sort of the burden is a lot to do with the amount of work that something is. What is this Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? What is this Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Guys, if y'all still rocking with me, don't forget to smash, <clears throat> don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, okay? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Someone is being urged to be truthful about how heavy some sort of commitment is. There's definitely some sort of commitment that is a lot of work. And it is... Show me... Show me the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely how you, like, there's definitely something about the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's get like, somebody's doing all of the work while somebody else is reaping all of the benefit, like, And you're going to have, like, you're being told to be honest about this, Sag. I've seen the Five of Cups. Now I'm seeing the Four of Cups. We see the Six of Cups up here.
Hmm. Okay, this is coming through for some of you all. For some of you all, the burden is that you truly are manifesting this person's return. You are. That's the that's the that's the burden. You're manifesting in this person's return. All the while and Yeah, see, wow, I didn't even notice the full card is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you you're definitely manifesting in the return of someone else. Um you're you're manifesting a, a, a long-term commitment with someone and it's almost as if you've you, what you view like because of who it is you was manifesting in and what's going on in that person's life you may assume that this manifestation is not arriving i want you to know that this manifestation appears to be arriving with a different appearance let's see Let's see, Spirit. Let me get a major arcana if this person in the blue shirt, if this male in the card is Sagittarius. Is this, can I get a major arcana if this is Sagittarius in the blue shirt in the Four of Cups? The Emperor, yes. So I feel like that there is some sort of action. Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity being presented to you, Sag. But the burden is, is that you're still manifesting in someone from your past. You are. But while you're, okay, so back to the judgment card. But while you're manifesting this and building your confidence up, this person has been off building a life with someone else. That's what I'm telling you. While you've been in healing, there's someone else that has been building their life with someone else and you're not aware of it. And, and yeah, the two of swords, I'm taking that out. Y'all seen that the two of swords was at the bottom of the deck when we had the strength card and I was, and then the justice was right at the top. I'm going back to that because I do, I feel like, look, I feel like that while you've been in healing, you've not been aware of the fact that this person has been off building an entirely different life or it was this the arrival of the news that this person was building an entirely different life outside of you gave you the confidence that you needed to go within and get healed to ground yourself but i definitely feel like that for the majority of sagittarians y'all didn't see that this person was building that life back there and so during this energy, you was healing and getting yourself in a position with an ulterior motive. I'm going to call it for lack of better terms, that this person would come back around. So now that there's this healing energy that has taken place, have you subconsciously been trying to call this person in? If that's the case, I want you to know that you're missing the real manifestation. Okay, let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. I'm leaving this out here. Because I do feel like the Sagittarius is choosing not to take any action because this is what I manifested in. I've done the healing and I don't understand the part. I don't understand what's going on here. I did the work. I did the healing. So why isn't my manifestation coming in? Why isn't this person returning? Why isn't this happening? Because this is what I asked for. There's something better that's coming in in this Ace of Cups and it is your true happiness here. Um, can you show me what's inside of this Ace of Cups that Sagittarius isn't seeing? The Eight of Wands. It's forward movement. Woo! It's forward movement. It's forward movement. It's forward movement, my love. Sorry, y'all. I got an appointment. I got to be mindful. I don't lose. I'm running behind today. The Eight of Wands. That is, a, that is 
forward movement that is the journey <laughs> like something is progressing something is changing but you're not seeing it because it's not happening the way that you thought that it would yeah see we have the six of wands see and the eight of wands is so that's Sagittarius and Mercury. I knew that. I don't even know why I started looking at that. That's Sagittarius and Mercury energy. That's about enjoying. So this is an adventurous journey, honey. This is definitely an adventurous journey that brings you a lot of recognition, honey. A lot of recognition. The will of fortune. When we was talking about adventure earlier, didn't we see the will of fortune in that spread? I believe so. Okay. So the next... The next step is to be truthful about how, like, be truthful about what the real burden is that you're holding on to. You have to be honest with yourself. Judgment is a self-evaluation and preparation of making a final decision, okay? And there needs to be a final decision about a burden that you're carrying um, that in order to really bring in the manifestation you, there is some type of ulterior motive that has to be laid down, okay? Because I do feel like that there is some sort of subconscious manifesting something from the past. That could have even potentially been a third party. What else does Sag need to know, Spirit? What else does Sag need to know? There's a transformation coming here, whether you like it or not. There's an end to any type of deception. There is an end to any sort of deception. There's something, there is this energy. <sighs> There's this untrustworthy energy and it's really, it's like your lack of trust is really causing, is how is affecting how you're making plans and in incoming partnerships. And that does need to come to an end. Spirit is saying, bring that to an end. There has to be an end to, um, this is just the, the way that you're going about the strategy. Okay, it's the strategy. It's it's in the strategy. It, it, I see that it is a protection strategy. I'm protecting what I got going on. You know, like like I just feel like that. What's you're you're not giving energy an authentic chance, and because there is still this, you healed. You went into healing with the. I just wish it would translate on camera the way that I see it here. When you went into healing, you was in this white. You, you just, you was looking to be filled. You did, you was just a blank canvas, okay? You knew that things, the only way to, to go was you was already down. So you had to utilize what you got. So you got down and started getting grounded. Strength. And I needed to find my internal strength. This physical strength isn't working. And as you were there, there's something that you, like, the, you were being protected from seeing something. But as you were protect, like as you got stronger, grounded, insecure, the veil, the background began to shift. It began to change. You see how the clouds are in different positions. You have more clouds here. It's not here. And so the, the, the fog and the confusion started to leave. And what was being hidden is now seen. You see the truth. You see the truth, the sword. And the truth is, is that someone is building a whole nother life. Okay. They are building a whole nother life that you couldn't see. And because you wasn't seeing that, it's not to say that you were manifesting in an end to their connection, but inadvertently, that's what I do feel like is being, is happening here. I do feel like that that's what's happening here is because inadvertently, this person you wasn't seeing what was going on okay so now this person is possibly losing a connection
and you're not open to the apology like you're not oh like whatever happened in this person's life that's beyond you okay i'm not trying to tell you to take responsibility or ownership or anything like that from it And spirit is telling me to take a closer look. It's not even that, you, like, look, damn spirit, I thank you. Where's my pen? I need to give me a little wand is what I need to get. Okay, look, you see these three little things in the background? It's those right there. The only difference is, is your father or your outside, of, the, the reason you're not seeing what's really going on there is because you're in seclusion okay so spirit is saying that you're here so that you can get healed and get grounded but know that when the healing is done and the healing is not done because healing is never a complete job but when the healing is taking place inside of here you're getting grounded you're getting more secure and as god or the universe strength your divine strengthens you get to put you in this red more things are to be going to become more and more apparent to you. And you have to act in a way that got you, like in a way that I'm, I'm more grounded now. And that's what you're being asked to respond to, okay? So, like, it's not that it wasn't, it's not that it wasn't taking place beforehand. It was. You just wasn't able to see it. Because your ungroundedness wouldn't allow you to believe it. But now that you're grounded, you have no choice but to see something. And somehow or another, Sag, that makes you go in another direction. That makes you go in another direction. What is the death card? There's definitely a transformation that's taking place here. Yeah. Ooh, the Empress. Wow. The Empress is leaving something behind. I asked what the death card is. Um, the death card is the divine masculine. The divine masculine is leaving something. I'm sorry. The divine feminine is leaving something behind. And I just want to let you know that Scorpio is actually a feminine's energy. Okay. So there's some type of. Okay. So do you see in this death card here? I know it doesn't translate very well. Um, but there is two, th uh, three energies here. And then there's a fourth energy that is leaving this fourth person that is leaving is stepping into their empress energy and i do feel like that that might be my like that's you using your energy like that's definitely you walking away from this emotional baggage that's you allowing the emotional baggage to actually be knowledge and wisdom to push you forward yeah and it comes through that healing from that strength card, remember when temperance came out, we seen the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now I'm seeing the eight of cups, the four of swords, and the seven of pentacles. I definitely feel like that by walking away from this, you in, by walking away from some sort of emotional baggage, you've allowed yourself to go into healing, and now the rewards will be reaped. You, you are going to be reaping the rewards, but you cannot stay comfortable in hibernation. You cannot stay comfortable in hermit energy you have to get up and come out of hermit energy what causes Sagittarius to come out of the strength and into justice what causes Sagittarius to come out of meditate to come out of meditation and into the red dress what happens there you were there's a ship coming in. There's 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 the understanding that that manifestation is coming in. The chariot. The expectation of this chariot. So 
and what is what is what's what's coming in with this three of wands what's coming in like the sun better days ha! ace of swords clarity truth and clarity in better days my love it was the fact it was like the chariot that your ships was arriving. That the way over the obstacle. So how does Sagittarius get out of this Four of Cups energy in order to, like the Emperor? So this Sag is needing to take action. Can you show me the action that is needed to get Sag out of this Four of Cups energy? Thank you, Spirit. To trust your intuition. To trust your intuition in the nine of wands. The high priestess in the nine of wands. You're too close to the end, Sag. You're definitely too close to the end. There's also this energy of needing to listen to your intuition and allow that to be the leading guide. Because I feel like that you have some harsh, like in order for you, if you feel like you don't know something, you don't know it because you're not asking it. And the reason you're not asking it is because you don't have the confidence yet. And the reason you don't have the confidence yet is because you haven't healed some things yet. So Spirit is saying, don't rush this healing process. Be patient with yourself actually do the healing process because you have some tough questions to ask someone possibly some harsh truths to speak but i do feel like that there is it's, there's this energy of being set free and moving things onto calmer waters but in order to do so there's some sort of there's some sort of heartache that it there's some sort of heartache that it brings. That's too far down in there. I can't make sense of it. Um, ooh, look at that. Wow. You got to keep going forward. You got to keep going forward. Something's over. You, but here's the thing though. I go back to the original story. I know it feels like we probably all over the place, but hell, this shit, y'all here for a reason. Um, Love you. But, okay, so I feel like that you went into healing. There were some things that you was not seeing. And because of some things that you were not willing to see or just, just couldn't see, you were manifesting in something. I do feel like that what brought you out of the healing energy is the intuitive nudge that something, that that, that, that arrived, the arrival of your manifestation was coming. Okay? And the spirit is asking you to be honest about how heavy this manifestation is. Because the, the, to be honest about how heavy this manifestation is for you, sets you free from that. And it allows you to stop soaking over the fact that this manifestation is possibly going to just continuously keep you on a loop of focusing on like, damn, it's never really, it's not this. This isn't what I, this isn't what I was fighting for. This isn't what I was fighting for. This isn't what I'm fighting for. This may never be what you're fighting for because the real manifestation is something different. But you have to ask yourself, are you willing? to see that manifestation arrive and so, as something different and your and, and, and the action step that you're needing to do is to continue to listen to your intuition and yes you're right you're going to get your manifestation but you have to ask yourself the thing that has come to you does it feel like what you manifested in if it doesn't set it free let it go and keep persevering forward because your true manifestation is here and this is completely new like this is new new like i'm talking about new new 
I'm talking about brand new cherry, giggle, giggle, hee 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 ha uh, when they get their first bus. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be giddy. This is new. They don't know you. You don't know them. They're going to be curious. Take a leap into new love. Look at the way this fool card is leaping towards this Ace of Cups. Okay? Trust your intuition and go towards that. It's that's the real manifestation. Might I do I let me calm down? That's the real thing that you've manifested. Okay? So be curious. Look into. Become curious about the offers that are coming in. Because yes, something from your past is coming. Because you manifested it in. Because you manifested something in. The reason why it's coming in, baby, is because by you inadvertently manifesting this thing in, something blew up in their life. And they're coming towards you. And because of your manifestation, it is your karmic responsibility to not just create more trauma inside of a situation. Yes, you need to persevere forward. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But there's also some medicine that you can and that you are being expected via the divine to offer this energy as it is returning to you. Because unfortunately, you inadvertently manifested them to come your way. I'm coming up out of that. Somebody needed to hear this message. Don't lie and to yourself. Okay? Because spirit is actually giving you an opportunity to clean this up. And if you can clean this up, I do feel like that ultimately everybody in this situation can have a win-win outcome. What's the message here? Can I get a message for Sag for the story that's on the table, Spirit? Thank you. See, see through the perfectly lens of your galactic destiny. It had to happen. It had to happen. You would have never, it would have never, you would have never seen, I'm not going to say never because God would have, a universe would have made it happen regardless. But what I do want you to know is that it would have happened regardless because there was a change that had to take place. Okay? There was a change that needed to take place. So it's time to start addressing the negative thoughts that you are telling yourself. Even the internal storylines that put off jealousy. That storyline is, well, why her, not me? Why well, everybody else gets their way and everyone else is married and everybody else gets this. And yet I'm over here left to do this by myself and figure this out by myself and blase, blase, blase. Trust me, don't feel bad. We all do it. Okay. And don't let anybody lie and say they don't. But what I'm telling you in this message right here, spirit is saying it's time to see this through the fact that you needed to experience this. Because if you didn't experience this, you would have never gotten grounded. You would have never gotten secure. There was something about this situation that triggered your groundedness. It triggered you getting secure. And that's all that you should focus on. And that's what you should show gratitude for. And through gratitude, it's going to open you up to receive your desires. Okay. And then once you get, once you gain authority, sovereignty over your desires, well, then you're able to then, well, just that you then you can see that your solar plexus chakra is now uh, now is in now you are in control okay the reason that you feel like that you don't have the willpower and the reason that you feel like that you're out of control is because your solar plexus chakra is out of alignment and it will be out of alignment until you get grounded, until you get that root chakra in alignment, okay? So spirit is asking you to not so much give this situation so much effort as understanding I'm in healing. What was it that I was supposed to be learning from this? What can I extract temperance? What can I extract from this to temper into me that will help me get more secure and more grounded so that I can come out secure and grounded? Now, when you come out secure and grounded, there is something that you must face. It's not saying it's not saying that it's always something. It's just saying that now, now that you're ready, 
now it's time for the show. Now it's time for your match. Okay? Now, now you're up to the big leagues. And every time, you will be up another one. So you just have to keep going, okay? And 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 you and you don't get to kick your opponent while they're down, okay? You don't once you once you overcome your lesson, you don't get to kick the teacher. And so I'm telling you that I feel like that this person was a teacher. And because of what it is that you went through and the way that you went through learning your lesson and applying your lesson, this person is coming back around for you because you were warned at some point in time during that relationship that you would be elevated to being the student and the teacher at the same time and in order to be the student and the teacher at the same time you must one be willing to ask the questions and speak the hard truths or damn i meant the queen of swords from your heart yeah, the hero of your cosmic journey. Nobody's coming to save you from this and nobody's coming to save that person. This person isn't coming back to save you from your sorrows, baby. I'm sorry to bust the bubble. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But this person isn't coming back to save you from your sorrows. That's your job. That's your job. But there is the conversation. There is some sort of medicine that you can offer this person, okay? I'm going to leave this here. I absolutely love you, Sagittarius. I hope that this offered you the guidance that you were seeking. Actually, my cousin is telling me no. Um, I'm actually going to pull for our, all 12 zodiac signs, okay? All right, Sh Shaquille's filling this message. He just said this. And then for some of you all that are in no contact, I'll pull this. So I pulled two for each sign. Bear with me while I shuffle. Red and black could be significant between you and this person, okay? All right. 12. I mean, uh, Sagittarius dealing with all 12 zodiac signs. Straight from the top, please. Alright, so all 12 zodiac signs for the person dealing with Sagittarius, straight from the top if there's no communication. Okay, so if you're dealing with an Aries... There is a past life connection with this person. Um, this person does feel guilty about their actions and for what they said to you, okay? If you're dealing with the Taurus, there's a need to shift your perspective in order to gain clarity here so that you can realign with this um, Taurus energy. Um, it says, uh, this uh, Taurus, they want you to know that if you're not speaking to them, they hurt themselves by letting you go. And they are very much aware, well aware of that. Gemini. This Gemini could very much so be your twin flame. Um, this is a spiritual connection, okay? Um, if you're not in contact with this person, they want you to know that they be, they're, they're not sure why, but for some reason, when they come close to you, they become very apprehensive about being candid with you. It's not that they don't desire to. There's something that happens internally to them that makes them become apprehensive. And as I was trying to explain this, I felt the need to say that I do feel like that this could be some type of mother wound um, or it's I, I'm just saying a parental wound because I feel like that it's some type of innate energy which is why you're being encouraged to do the shadow work because there's some type of energetic energy that you're putting off that this person has perceived and received in childhood that when they received that, it made them not be able to be honest. You know, my children, I have this look like, no, nah, I'm not playing. Okay, so let's just use that. So let's just say that in it, like subconsciously, if you're dealing with the Gemini, if you give off a look and they associate it with their mother and that look for their mother meant, I'm not listening to you. I don't have nothing to say to you. Then, and you put off that energy, then that's what they in and in, um, innately, like they it's a subconsciously pick up on. And so it stops them from being candid. I don't know why I just dug in like that, but somebody needed to hear that. Um, 
cancer um abundance wow so there's some type of um inflow of of love and reward coming in from a cancer okay um the yeah and the reason that this has happened is because the universe is actually urging this cancer towards you sagittarius and if you're dealing with a leo a manifestation attract this leo towards you through the law of manifestation but in order to, don't lose sight of the message don't lose sight of the message make sure that you're man make sure that you're doing your healing and you're in like make sure that you're balanced internally before you begin to manifest this person in so that you can see whether this person's lifestyle is aligned to you okay if you're not in communication with the leo Please understand exactly. Wow. It's so crazy that I went through that rant because subconsciously, this is what the Leo is calling out to you. Please understand that I need space right now. So this Leo isn't ready to come towards you. So manifest wisely when it comes to this energy. Okay. Because um, I do feel like that you have been trying to manifest this Leo in, but there's something that this Leo is trying to deal with in another area of their life. Moving forward to Virgo, there's a need for rest. There's a need to listen to your mind, um, listen to your body mentally and physically as it pertains to this Virgo, okay? Um, wow, because subconsciously, this Virgo is saying, I never want to see you again. You hurt me. That's what this Virgo is going through subconsciously, okay? So give it a break. Give this Virgo a break. Mm -hmm. Give this Virgo a break. If you're dealing with the Libra, denial. Um, there's there there's some sort of failure to accept this situation for as it exactly as it is. I feel like that there's an unhealthy cycle and or addictions dealing with this Libra. Um, this subconsciously, this Libra does fear that you will never forgive them. Uh, dealing with the Scorpio, wisdom. Uh, there is some sort of experience that you're like there through this experience with this um, Scorpio. There is some sort of knowledge and wisdom that is gained here. Um, there's also there could be this need to um, seek some older wise person as it pertains to this um, Scorpio. What is the un what is the un uh, no communication message? Uh, Subconsciously, the Scorpio is saying, I hope that the future will bring us together again. All right, let's move forward. If you're dealing with another Sagittarius, or you could take this as a message to help push you along. Okay, um, we have be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. And then it says, I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. So I feel like that if this if a cross watcher is watching and you're dealing with the Sagittarius, I really do urge you to be honest and up for up straight with Sagittarius for sure, um, because I, I think that whatever's taken place in the past, the Sagittarius is trying to heal from. And I do feel like that the Sagittarius' this healing journey, at least in the Sagittarius' mind, is kind of delayed or hinged upon some sort of truth. Sagittarius, I'm here to let you know you can make it through this without this truth. But if you are blessed enough to have, ex exactly, Spirit told me to look at this. Like, you have to decide to pull that truth from that sword, okay? Go look at that story, because that kingdom was left without, uh, that, that, that empire was left without a king. And that rock appeared, and anybody that could remove that sword from that rock would then be ruler over that king. That sword is truth. So you have, in order to be ruler, emperor of your own life, you must be willing to give yourself this truth, Sagittarius, and stop seeking it from them, okay? But yes, I do feel like the Sagittarius does still love you um, and just doesn't know how to show you right now. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, we have strength, determination, and perseverance. Ooh. Um, all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. 
That's what the Capricorn is, is subconsciously thinking if you're not in communication with them. Aquarius, th there is success here. Like, it's your time to shine with this Aquarius, okay? So, success comes from what you pour your heart into. Just remember that. So, be honest with yourself. Um, subconsciously, this Aquarius is wanting you to know that there is, it says, other people were interfering and in trying to control them okay now this card it does say were w-e-r-e -E, as if it's not still happening okay and then it, last but not least pisces release there's a need to release the grudges the wounds and pent up feelings through healthy activities there is a need to do a lot of releasing as it pertains to this Scorpio. I mean, to this Pisces. I feel like that there's really a need to release the Pisces um, in order. Like there's a need to release the Pisces in order for you to do the actual healing. The strength card was single energy. Okay. The un, Like if you're not speaking to this Pisces, the message is, I want to take care of you the way that you've always taken care of me. So this person wants to take care of you, but you have to be honest with yourself. Does this person exhibit the, like, do they really have what it takes to take care of you? So don't sign yourself up on potential when this person doesn't come through with that. All right, Sag, I'm out of here. 50 minutes. I love y'all. I hope that you have a wonderful day. If this message resonates, don't forget to slap that thumbs up button, okay? I love you.